Hello everyone and welcome back to Engineering Lee. In this video, we will discuss in detail Design for X or DFX. The full form for DFX is Design for Excellence. But the question here is, excellence in what? There should be an aspect or something in a product or a project in which we want to achieve excellence. This excellence could be any several aspects of a project or a product. For example, quality, cost, assembly, sustainability, manufacturing, maintenance, or anything else. Suppose that you're doing design for safety. What should be the definition of this design for safety? It's a set of technical guidelines that are made part of the product development or the project processes to make sure that the risks to safety and health are significantly reduced during the product development or construction. Thus, Design for X or Excellence or DFX is a systematic approach for designing a product where X represents the objectives or characteristics of a product or a process. The sixth edition of PM Bog defines DFX as following. It is a set of technical guidelines that may be applied during the design of a product for the optimization of a specific aspect of design. The sixth edition of PM Bog mentions designs for X or DFX as one of the techniques used in the manage quality process, which translates the quality management plan into executable quality activities that incorporate the organization's quality policies into the project. It's obvious that the concept of DFX is largely used in product development and engineering. It's obvious that the concept of DFX is largely used in product development and engineering. In product development, the design of a product can be driven by several different aspects. However, with focus on one single aspect, we can have better control and we can also simplify the overall product development process. Usage of DFX or design for excellence may result in cost reduction, improvement in quality, better performance and customer satisfaction which can ensure our project's overall success. If you're looking forward to take your PMP exam, there might be questions related to this topic. But in the PM book, it's not discussed in very much detail. However, in quality management, such as Six Sigma, this is discussed in pretty much detail. The types of questions which you can encounter in your PMP exam could be as following. The X and D effects can be A. Design assumptions B. Discretionary dependency or C. Different aspects of product development and lastly D. Competing project constraints. As we mentioned earlier, we are targeting one aspect in the product or the project and making efficient processes in order to reach excellence in that specific aspect of the product or project. So it should be C, different aspects of product development. If you like the contents in this video and found them informative, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Thank you very much for watching.